All right, good afternoon everyone, hope you're doing well. First and foremost, uh, I was actually trying to do a few stream corrections, uh, like, you know, everyone knows that the quality of mine tend to not be as good, so I tried to up the quality to 1080p and I also made some tweaks to my mic. So first and foremost, does my mic actually work? I'm gonna wait for the flood of comments to come through saying that it's some kind of disaster, but fingers crossed it's actually gonna be uh, okay today. Um, I've already worked out why I'm not actually getting 1080p. I did a load of tests, uh, it looked like it was working and now it's not working and the reason I think is because my recording settings are different to my stream settings and the bitrate isn't high enough so yeah kind of annoying that I worked that out or realised that now but I, I didn't really want to risk it without testing and yeah you get the idea so uh, until next time we will, we will save the 1080p for another day but for now we have still got ourselves a very tasty challenge Worthy of 1080p, <laughs> but but without 1080p, uh, we have got Xcal and size, uh, and this is a $100 challenge. It's anonymously sponsored, um, and yeah, um, you can see the format by the way in um, in the description or in the topic that I created. Okay, ready. Um, I'm just waiting for a flood of comments to come through now. Um, to, just to confirm that the mic is okay. I'm hoping it is. Uh, in the meantime, I will say hello to... Oh, we've got hello there, Hummy. Hummy, yeah, I know. <laughs> yeah, I played so bad. Uh, massive hello to Spell. Great to see you in the chat, by the way. And hello, Scuba. Hello there, Drunkle. Hello, Nick Pine. Where have you been hiding? Uh, okay, anyway, whilst I do some hellos before that, let's get into it. So, we have in the top left, Xcal in purple as stealth at the beginning of this epic challenge on Tournament Arena, and in the bottom right, big size in his orange as stealth as well. Both opening as you'd expect, except we've got a box here from Xcal. No box as such yet from size. Mike is working fine, that is excellent to hear. Okay, thank you for confirming that. Hello there, uh, Arderekis as well. Uh, Benjamin Williams, hello. Uh, who else have we got? Rafi, hello, hello. Uh, second supplier going up here then, and a uh, cheeky little, probably a fake rack stat. Uh, just a fake rack scaffold that he'll probably sort out in a bit. Something similar from size here, and we've got a half box here, so he's going for the tunnel style box, which isn't actually box, but that's fine. Neither player being overly ambitious and going free. It's a bit difficult to go free supplies on this map, I think. Uh, hello, King Toxic as well, by the way. And hello, KP. Hello, Tekken Master. And uh, Queen Muff, hello. Okay, so. What have we got? One oil going up. I'll say one oil going up. Tunnel going up by the oil here for Xgal. Obviously, this area is pretty important, as is this. It's kind of underestimated. There's only one oil here and one here, but not to be... Um, not to be sort of girthed at, so to speak. You definitely need those oils as well as obviously getting these three supplies. Uh, got a standard size worker being very cheeky. Will X scale spot it? Remains to be seen. We have a fast tech coming out here. This building's been secured. That's just kind of more annoying than anything. Looks like this box is very nice from X scale. Yep, no technical crushes there. Oh, but there is going to be a Nice early deny of the supplies. Okay, that's pretty nice from size. And he's actually going to save the tech. Okay. Very nice there. Uh, is he actually going to save the tech, though? Or has he just forgotten about it? Looks like he's forgotten about it. Oh, that's a shame. That is a shame. Uh, oil. Very fast oil coming in from Mexico. Wow, okay. Super fast oil. Uh, and that size will actually know about that. Uh, because he's got that worker, which does now go down. Three techs coming in, then. Uh, and he's looking to get an early follow -up. Could actually take this area early on, potentially, if he's got the right units for it. But, needs to be careful. Uh, probably just save just picking off this worker and then running away. But for now, x -Gal. Okay, this is very nice. Uh, needs a worker. Does have a worker. He's going to try and establish a tunnel here. But, x -Gal can just steam in here anytime. Uh, and the box isn't successful here for size. That's a shame. Okay, Xcal's got this to a fine art. One, two, three, four, five. Well, I was about to say six working, and incredibly, he hasn't got any bug, despite them being nicely boxed. So, a very good play there from Xcal. Uh, tunnel now being established here. Uh, what, so, I was just being annoying with the uh, technicals. 
Not many quads out so far. We've seen a couple here from Xgal. <laughs> uh, Scuba. He loves this, uh, loves the mirror. Uh, hello there, Big Frank. Fairly subdued start. Um, we have Xgal who was slightly delayed on his second supplies here, but this is actually now going to be nicely defended. Okay, so he's established two supplies at this point. Oh, that's an annoying deny there. But that will get shut down. Okay, they're very nice. Uh, size is now going to try and get that tunnel back up. And all the meanwhile, this just delays the third supply for Xgal, who is now getting the refinery in the middle. Uh, extremely easy to overlook this building, actually, so it's nice to see. Worker trying to be sneaky here. Uh, it is clear here what Xgal wants to do. He wants to clear size out of this area. He's going to need to gun that down, that's for sure. And he's decided he needs to, yeah, that's probably for the best. Okay, he has got an awful lot in there, actually. So this is very nice from size. And he is going to probably get that position up, so... Hmm... Oh, he's in range. And uh, size is just going to have to gun down that toxin tractor. Literally gun down the toxin tractor. Yeah, he will. And he's going to hold on to this position. Very nice. Okay, Xcal knows he backs off. Uh, size very nearly lose a quad there. Lose a tech for nothing there as well. Uh, cheeky worker. Will it get spotted though? Maybe not. So a potential play there for Xcal. Yeah, this is very nice actually. That could be pretty tasty. Second arm stealer is up for him. Uh, second also up for Size, who is only now getting the oil. And yeah, I think Xcal realizes actually he could take this area with far more ease, so maybe you actually just press on here instead. Will he spot that? I don't think he can see it. I don't think he's got the vision to see that, and that is going to be a problem. That's for sure. Oil now finally coming in for size. Okay. Uh, we have King Toxic asking, I'm going to help the World Series, and oh, there's a big push from Xcal. Okay. Yeah, Sars quickly realising he's lost his position and sensibly backs off. He's in a pretty precarious spot at this point. He's popped, but was that the right move? Uh, looks like it might actually work out okay for him. Mm, then again, that one quad is wrecking everything. Okay, now he clears it up. That's actually a pretty nice hold there by Sars. Uh, free super tech available as well. That is a very nice super tech. So, uh, looking alright for it, for size so far. Fairly even. Xcal lost a lot there. I mean, look at the XP difference. So, I was just about to get a shock when he realises there's a tunnel up here. <laughs> there we go. Now he realises, I suspect. Yeah. Uh, if he doesn't get that up, that'll be massive. Yeah, he's not going to get it up. That's a shame. And Xcal right now does have a supply lead, but size could just start collecting from here. And yeah, he's going to lose this area size. So, going to need to start capitalising pretty soon. Yeah, he realises he needs to make something happen. But he's a supply down right now. Excal on 2 and 1. Size is now only going to get his second one back. Neither player... Okay, now Excal is, is going to move on to his third as well. That's a nice tunnel. But, uh, this tunnel's weirdly nice because it actually stops him from building a tunnel there. <laughs> it's just annoying. Uh, nice hijacker. Potentially nice hijacker. Neat size really needs to get onto this supply though. Okay, nicely done. And will size pop? I don't think he will. I think it's a bit precarious there. Queen Muff scaring me as always. Did the stream stop? I hope not. Okay, the 10% off which Xcal was getting for quite a long time actually. Uh, he has caught up on the XP as well. And this is a dangerous moment then for Size. Xcal is a supply ahead as things stand. Size only just getting these supplies. There's a lot of supplies in these corners, isn't there? Jesus. I Means about 40k's worth. Okay, that gets picked off. Size did eventually cancel that tunnel, fair enough. Uh, no pallets just yet from either player. It's clear that the quad spam is what counts. And size very much concentrating on the top right. Uh, may, maybe he's just more focused on actually just getting this back. I think he knows that if he gets this back it's at least even with Xcal at that point. Whereas right now he is a little bit behind. 
There is only 12k left there, but a full 17.5k to collect there. So he's definitely behind right now, size. Probably needs a couple more workers here just to make up the difference, actually. Uh, dangerous. This is a lot of quads. Uh, and if Excal was to push now, he might have some success, but... Ah. That is horrendous. Wow, that is a that is a game losing engagement, if you ask me. That that's GG right there. What happened to his quads? It, they just didn't A move at all. They just walked into death into their death. I mean Excal didn't even use the hijacker, that's how much of a shredding it was. Uh, it's just bad now. Now Excal could go to a palace at this point, I think, pretty comfortably. He's actually expanding there as well, that's nice to see. But this, this is just, yeah. This is GG, I'm afraid. This is going to be 1 0 X scale. That's a nice quad, but I'm afraid it's not enough. Yeah, GG. Good start for X scale there. Goes 1 0 up. So it needs more tunnels while left. Yeah, to be fair, but, yeah. Unfortunately, a little bit too little, too late. Size can't get it up. Yeah, I knew, I knew, I knew that at least five people were going to clock that. <laughs> and I'm not surprised that Spell is one of the people to clock it either. Okay, well, we know we're going to see a Nuke Mirror next. So, match number two is a Nuke Mirror on. I can't remember what. Uh, Canyon of the Dead, that's the one. Uh, that game could have gone a lot longer, actually. So, nine minutes, Stealth Mirror, that's not too bad. That's somewhat. Um, Relieving. <laughs> uh, yeah, misclick. It agreed, it must have been a misclick. Oh dear. Right, Nuke Mirror, Canyon of the Dead, match number two. And I think we're ready to just get straight into it. Hello there, nickname. Nickname must be delighted to see a fellow Dutchie uh, back in the chat. I think that's why people are excited, Spell. We haven't even seen you in a single chat to, to, see, to see you watching. And for it to be mine, by the way. Very, uh, very generous of you. Uh, okay, so match number two is a Nuke Mirror. In the bottom left, we have x -Scale in the purple, obviously, as Nuke. And in the top right, we have Size in orange, also as Nuke. Okay. So, we had an entire tournament a while ago, Blast from the Past 1, dedicated to Nuke Mirrors in the 1v1 format, it actually was a bit of a hit. Uh, and one thing it reminded us of just how dynamic a Nuke Mirror can be. Uh, you've got, you know, Lix Battles, you've got Dual War Factory. In this map, I think a very viable strategy is going for the Oils, and that is, by the looks of it, what Xcal Fancy's doing. But is he going to, or is he going to fly? Either way... Size is choosing to get his two supplies and he's then going for a Rax Barracks. Okay. We are going to have Red Guard out of Xcal then. And there is going to be an airfield follow up. Okay, so he's going to fly. It looks like Size is going to do a bit of both here. And I think if there's an F. Yeah, I think I prefer this from Size actually. Um. I think I prefer this. If these two red guard go here and deny the red guard, you just need to. If your size and you're doing this builder, and obviously he has no idea what Xcal's doing. If he did know what Xcal was doing, then all he need to do is deny the oils, and as long as he does that, he's got a pretty good chance of winning. And yeah, sure enough, he is sending two red guard up here. Um, I would say so far not looking too bad for size here. There's a flamer. Okay. I don't think the Flamer is going to get there in time, though. It definitely isn't, actually. So this oil will come in for Excal. But if size, as long as he's paying attention, it shouldn't live for too long. Uh, size has not got the capture building. I think the two red guard are just there on a defensive job. Both players fairly defensive to start off with. There is now a Lix. Uh, there is nearly a Lix out for Excal, actually. War Factory now coming into play. He's floating, actually. Uh, didn't actually wait for the, um, what's it called, the red guard, uh, the horde bonus to kick in, so might not be as optimal as it hoped. That's going to go straight here. Actually, if size gets in that bunker, that would be nice. Uh, Flamer now in play, that is going to wreck the oil that Xcal has just got in. That's very nice. And it is a Lix War.
Oh, that is that a second bunker mm, If it's got men in, it's not got the upgrade yet. Oh, this is actually a pretty good chance. Yeah, size could capitalize here. Size very much could capitalize. Okay, now there is. A, ooh. Yeah, if he engages, I think this is looking pretty good for size. Uh, he's not engaging. He's running away. Uh, I don't know if that was the right choice. Maybe, maybe. Size knows better than me. <laughs> okay, now it's looking pretty bad for size because the Lix is going to come in. Yeah, that's dead. That is dead. And just like that, Excal suddenly looking all right. He's going for a prop now, as is size. Pretty much bang on timing-wise. Uh, Flamer could get some damage done here, potentially. Let's wait and see. Uh, if only Size had a second Battlemaster with him, that actually would have made the difference, I think. And the Flamer... Uh, yeah, I think it knows it's going to go down. So it's just seeing if he can reach that, which it cannot. Neither player looking for that um, second supply just... Or third supply just yet. Uh, both oils taken out. Did Size even bother with the capture upgrade? No, he didn't. Okay, that's kind of nice then. Was that... That was weird. Did that guy just come out of that lyrics? That was weird. Uh, okay, Xcal now going to expand to the third supply then. He has two Lixes versus uh, Sizes one, but both players on a prop, which means ECM time. And a second War Factory now going down for Excal. Pretty much on point after he's got his third supply in. Not the best positioning, but probably get away with it. This Gat is going to go wrecked. Third supply now coming in for Size, who is definitely looking a lot thinner in the ground here compared to Excal. Hmm. Yeah, that's a free pick-off, though. Uh, gets size the slight XP edge. Uh, incredibly, he actually kept that guy. I'm not entirely sure how he managed that. Flamer now in play. That will probably go down. And, yeah, this is looking okay for size, actually. Needs to run away now, though. There's pretty much a head-on combat here. Will he get a prop Lix himself? Probably not. Uh, this is nice, though. Knew that Lixes were a threat, and he's actually bunkered this area pretty nicely on the air defense side. But we'll need to be careful. We'll need to fill that. We'll need to get a bunker. Uh, another supply coming in for Excal. Wow, okay. Four supplies. He's going to lose this one very soon, though. No oils for either player. Excal did capture one. Lost one very quickly. Hello there, Ricky Ansel. And then hello there, uh, Hawkey. This is looking like a nice engagement here from Excal all of a sudden. And actually, looking very thin at the base, actually, his size. Oh, is he going to lose it? Yeah, no, it's fine. He's going to get away with it. Uh, and this is pretty nice from Excal, actually. Lixes do need to be careful, though. And actually, yeah, size is so worried about this. He is going to bring these in. Ooh, big engagement now. Lixes do need to do something here. They're being a bit lazy. And I'm preferring the micro here so far from Excal. It's done a very nice job. And size, I'm afraid. Well, there is a bit of a range bug going on there. One Lix goes down. I don't think it really matters at this point. And I think that's that. And I'm afraid size is going 2 0 down here. Unless Excal decides to be generous. Oh, there was another range bug. Completely accidental, of course. Desperately needs a battle master. <laughs> Doesn't get one. Uh, and the Lix did survive there, unfortunately. And this Lix is not surviving, I don't think. That uh, is going to go down in a second. Yeah, that's it. GG, I'm afraid. Ooh, if he can get... No. <laughs> See, look how strong these uh, get these Vet 3 Gats. Even their armor gets so much, you know, so much better. Honestly, the Vet 3 Quads, Vet 3 Gats, these things are absolute monsters. But yeah, that's it. That is over. Excal's freestyle as well, just just to uh, be absolutely sure. And the CC is halfway there. But yeah, Sars just has nothing. Doesn't matter what he does at this point. He can't get anything out. <laughs> it's it's checkmate. Ooh, unless... Okay, he does actually take that out. So he's just about alive, but 
Well, I mean, as soon as he hears... Give it about three seconds when he hears that bombardment and I'm pretty sure it'll change his mind. Uh, just waiting for the free star to kick in. Uh, XL's floating 5.5k. <laughs> That's why being on four supplies or three supplies does for you. Oh, dear. Oh, look at that. Ricky Ansel is uh, similar to Millie, also uh, near Dover. Nice. And there's the GG. Yeah. I would say that counts as probably just as southern as me. I'm pretty much on the southern tip where, where I am, so... Yeah. Okay, good start for x -Gal. 2 0 up. That was pretty pretty ruthless for those last two games from him, actually. Uh, size will now, however, get to choose out of the matchups. Um, we'll see what uh, he actually decides to go for. <laughs> uh, just seeing Hawkey. Uh, funny. Our southerners have... Do you know what? I've always said we don't even have accents. Benjamin Williams is from Liverpool. Ah, my lad. Oh. I'll tell you, Liverpool's an amazing night out, by the way. Really good. It is really good. I do enjoy a bit of Liverpool. Can't do the accent very well. Oh, imagine a Liverpudlian um, zero hour streamer. That would be class, actually. Should get you on for a co-car sometime, just, just, so that, just so I can hear a Liverpudlian zero hour streamer. Even if it's just for one stream, that would be kind of epic. Oh dear. Hello there, Dragan, as well. And hello, everyone else I've not said hi to. Tox demo, yeah, I had a feeling that was going to happen. Will he take the Tox or the demo first is the question. Uh, looks like x -Gal's... Okay, no, he's chosen the Tox. Fine. x -Gal will be Demo, and Sires will be Tox. All right, and we are on Sand Scorpion for this one. Pressure on Sires, then. Now, according to x -Gal, Sires has won this matchup both ways of late. So let's see if this will bring him back to two, shall we? Okay, so in the bottom right-hand corner, we have Big Size in the orange as Tox. And in the top left, we have x -Gal in purple as Demo. Okay. Play fair and have fun, says whoever made this map. Already can't remember who made it. Is it Jundi? No, nah, it can't be Jundi. There's nowhere near enough beach huts. <laughs> nowhere near enough of those stupid uh, tank traps either. So it can't be a Jundi map, surely. Okay, dual supply out of Excal and Arax. Uh, no dual supply out of size just yet. Okay, there we go. There's the second supply. Uh, did get his first supply out very quick, however. There's a nice tunnel. Got some random city noises going on in the middle. They never really noticed that. Uh, and it is going to be an oil capture out of uh, out of x -Gal. He's going for his own oil pretty quickly. And I think that is probably not a terrible idea. And the reason for that is because I think on this map, I mean, Tox has such a massive advantage in terms of, like, you know, secure this island. Even secure this island. It's a lot easier for the Tox. They have an easier time. Um, and so because of that, it's just a case of, well, do you sit back? If you're in x -Gal's shoes, do you think actually it's not really worth the hassle of even bothering trying down here? It'll just be a waste of time and effort. And certainly a viable strategy in this matchup is to sort of tech up fairly quickly if you're the demo and just boy, boy camp it. That is that is kind of like, you know, does work fairly well. Uh, we have size on a rebel, but not yet on the capture upgrade. Does have two rebels in position. And yeah, I think this island's pretty much just going to go to size. Uh, that technical has got something in it, actually. I don't know what, but it has got something in it. Is it a load of terrorists? I don't think it will be, you know. Equally, I don't really know what it's got in, so... Oh, okay. x actually is protruding on the right-hand side, then. Uh, and he probably will get into the supply line here as well. Yeah, he is. That's annoying. That is very annoying for size. 
who is going to lose that tech, and that has... Will that get cancelled in time? Oh, that technical is being super annoying. Okay, it did get cancelled. But, size crucially has snuck up here. How the hell did he do that? And it's going to get on three oils here. Then again, Excal is going to probably take that one as well. Uh, that's going to go down. And it's a shame he doesn't have a worker here, actually. If he did, that would be very nice, but unfortunately not. Uh, that worker's got absolutely no chance of getting that tunnel up. And actually, size is not... Well, he is on this island, though. Okay. This is nice from Excal. Having said that... Oh, he has actually gone two arm sealers. Okay. There is a problem here for Excal, is that he is going to run out of money fairly quickly. Sure, you're on two oils, but... And probably are going to be on a third sooner rather than later. But uh, that's ambitious, actually, from size. I don't know if size has got the units to deal with this, actually. These uh, Marpy Gs, there's so many of them. Uh, crucially, size is expanding on the bottom left island. But, yeah, he desperately needs more tunnels in his base. He's only got the one right now. should all chip in and let Stephen Graham do a stream. <laughs> uh, dear. Ilkley has been voted the best. Is that right? Or Ilkley or Ilkley, however that is. Mm. Now that terrorist is ambitious. Okay. There's a nice English chat going on. And I'm not involved with it. But, it, oh, he has actually got the perfect counter there. This is a very good counter to a load of infantry, actually. And this is a nice hold, actually. This is going to be, oh, he didn't get the tunnel up. And it's going to be a struggle now. Okay, that's a very nice deny there, though. And size just needs to hold at this point. Desperately needs to hold. And not give away the units for free, either. And if he can hold this, he's going to be alright. But it all comes down to that. He's trying to go for the scrap, but I think he's better off not scrapping that. Yeah, Excal's on top of the production here. Size... Uh, it's just, yeah, just really struggling. Actually does repair that, but... Okay, that's very nice from uh, Excal. There is a super tech. That is going to go down. No, it doesn't. That. Oh, wow. How hell is that alive? Excal looks like this is going to get shut down just about here from size, I think. Well, it needs to get another Rax here. Pretty sharpish. Okay, that is a really important pickoff, actually, putting that quad off. And if you can get just a couple more, he will be okay. Probably better off selling that, yeah, I was going to say. Don't think Excal's going to let him get away with that. No, he isn't, I was going to say. And the XP looking pretty good for Excal, who isn't on a palace, to my surprise. Or isn't at least trying to get a palace. He is all out on the quads here. And yeah, this is the problem. Like, you give the island to your opponent. It's going to work out. That is a different tech by the looks of it. Okay. Yeah, it is. I was going to say. Uh, will this now be the overextension from Sar uh, from Excal, actually? That's the question. I don't think it is. These quads are kind of doing a job, actually. Yeah, nicely done. It is getting... Ah, oh, there's a counter, actually. Ah, oh, but size has actually reacted, then. Size has actually reacted to this quicker than I did, that's for sure. Doesn't want to lose that super tech for nothing. Well, that's a shame. And should repair that ASAP. Can't really afford to lose both of these. Can afford to lose... Mm, probably can't. Actually, to be honest with you, can't afford to lose either of these. <laughs> um, yeah, Excal... Uh, size is reacting to this. Is Excal... Yeah, okay, he is now going to get onto... He's actually going onto a CC, so he's going to get the bounty money in here. But he will lose this. Okay. And the oil crucially stays alive. Uh, three always plays against two right now. One in the middle, perfectly alive. And this is now going to be the next point of push. There's a lot of supply here as well. So I was definitely um, on half-decent economy here. But he's now trying to recover his base. Uh, is that going to get up? It is. There's the pop. Oh, it just got cleared up. And suddenly this is looking pretty bad for Excal. That was an overextension, actually. Yeah, that was an overextension, definitely. And that might be the point where Excal screwed it. And I think Size at this point just needs to prioritise clearing that tunnel up. And if he does that, it's looking pretty good for him still. Hmm. 
Jeez, spoiler barge. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say whatever that was. It looked like it looks like they're doing some spoiling. Wouldn't surprise me with those two. Out, uh, that hockey scuba combo. Deadly. <laughs> Hello there, pro killer. All right, we got another push here in the middle. And again, I think this is going to be an overextension. I don't think Excal can really do much about that. And I think actually just get rid of this tunnel at that point. Just, yeah, just wreck it. Well, that is going to surely get denied. Yeah, there it is. That goes down. Now, that's a nice tunnel. Wouldn't mind seeing it knocked out at some point. And yeah, this is the thing. Size on one supply, two supply, three supply, four supply. This one's basically now done. Versus x one. And that's the thing. He is on three oils, though. Okay, that's a nice move from x actually. Uh, first market has now been built. That's a real one as well. And here comes a push from size. Uh, this oil probably will get taken out. I don't think he'll save that. Unless he uses his German Kel cleverly. Okay. Yeah, I think this is looking pretty tough, actually. Uh, that oil does get saved. That one probably should get repaired. That toxin tractor goes down. Nice idea from Excal trying to be sneaky. Uh, oil goes down. Very nice pick off there for size. Just needs to find a way to kill these two now. Or, or better, or even, you know, push him out of it. Uh, we are on markets now. And a palace. Yeah, okay, fine. That palace is obviously just completed. Both players are three star. Size very close to four star. Okay, that oil continues to survive. Not for too much longer, I don't think. I think these buggies will soon pick that off. And in comes a scorp mass. That is four star then for size. That is killing that. Killed the tunnel just there. And what this will do is it will probably keep alive. Well, it will keep this position alive for a little bit longer, won't it? If he's pushing here. Yeah, it's just going to kill this all. I think that's sensible. Just kill it at this point. Be done with it. I know it's in your own base, but the one thing that's going to keep Excal alive in this game is money. And he has only got one supply. So you knock out that oil, you knock out this oil. And it's GG, really. There's not really anything you can do. Uh... Oh, there's a, a rebel. Oh, no, that was actually Size's Rebel Ambush. Okay. And a German Kel. Nice. That's one way to kill an oil. Well played there. x Oh, we've got some kind of uh, sub or donation. I'll check that out in a minute. Thank you for subbing. Or whatever it was. <laughs> I really need to change the donation messages so they're different, don't I? Okay, the buggies are the right move here for x who, interestingly, doesn't have the demo upgrade just yet. So I was trying to sandwich Excal in here. Okay, yeah, this is a good move. He's just going to go and kill the oil. And there's nothing, there is nothing that Excal can do about it. And he's actually getting bounty himself here, actually, Size. That is the last oil. This one's been deleted. There is... Oh, that one got taken out as well. How? A TT, I'm guessing. I'm oh, sorry, I missed that. Uh, so that's it. No oil was left on the map. All completely wiped out. And it is, at this point, Scorps against Buggies. And there's a lot of Scorps. Jesus. Hmm. Um, I mean... <sighs> yeah, it's free pick-offs, these. Very nice. Got himself bounty at the 10% level as well. This is nice from uh, size, actually. He has done pretty well. What is he on? One, two, three markets. And he's going to get a fourth and a fifth very soon. Whereas x is only on the one. So his money is pretty much that 2.5k and, and anything he earns from the bounty. He is 4-star, so more for the bounty. But, yeah, I, I don't know. I think he's... I don't think he's just... Yeah, he's just not got the economy, has he? That's the problem. Ooh. Oh, hello there, lift truck. x needs to be very careful here. Size is trying his level best to... Oh, he is... There is a rebel ambush. That was on the buggies, though. Interesting choice. Okay, this Jarman Kel. I think the best way to use Jarman Kel. Watch this. You ready? Oh, he's missed his opportunity, actually. That's a shame. Best way to use Jarman Kel in this matchup is just blow him up in, in the middle of a force, to be honest with you. 
And that is exactly what Excal's looking to do here. Keep an eye on this. There he goes. Probably could have done a bit better. Uh, yeah, I think he should have done better, actually. And he, yeah, this is the thing. Size now knows. Ooh. Ah, it's over. Surely this is GG. Yeah, GG. He knows it's over. Size gets on the scoreboard. Well played, big size. Hello there, Nike. Okay. Size is back in the game. It is 2 1. Just waiting on X scale to exit the game. Haven't even been keeping an eye on the latency, actually. I'm pretty sure it's excellent, though, so no complaints from either player, which is what we want. And we know we are going to see Tox demo this time. I think it is tough on this map. I think it's really tough to win as the uh, demo. Uh, and that is why Xcal went for that early push that he did. Um, because, you know, that's pretty probably the only really decent chance, I think, that, um, that the demo's got of winning on this map. Very, very difficult. I think your only other chance uh, spot. Yeah, fair point. No pun intended there. <laughs> uh. Right, so in the top left this time, we have big size in the orange as demo. And then in the bottom right, we have Xcal in purple as Tox. Okay. What is Size's plan? I honestly think that you need tech. Um, the thing is with those giant Scorp armies, they are extremely weak to some demo bikes. So the fact that Xcal didn't build a single one was kind of surprising. Um, I, I mean, a lot, you know, uh, Legionnaire makes uh, valid points, especially Legionnaire, that demo bikes are kind of like, you know, a waste in terms of... I, personally, I think going all-out bikes obviously is. Um... Because obviously you've got to take into account how much that bike costs. But having just a couple and bringing them in from different angles, trying to micro against that whilst you're also microing against an army, say, is an absolute nightmare. So kind of surprising we didn't actually see any of that from x -Scout in the last game. Okay, this terrorist is definitely going to be late to the party. That's for sure. One chance you do have, actually... Um, if you get a very early Toxin Tractor, you can help yourself out. This terrorist is marching to its... Oh, no, it's not. Okay. Size so paying attention. Knows that he can get in this building, because that Tox Tunnel can't reach it. And is he actually... Oh, that's a good move, actually. Okay. Uh, technical is going to... That's a nice deny. Yeah, that's really nice. Okay. Has it got anything in it? Yes, it has actually got some. Oh, Rebel gets denied as well. Uh, that's nicely done from size, though. And I think as soon as that dies, that is going to kill that. So, easy does it. Because size is very tight with the supply set. Can any technical even get through that? Mm, there's your answer, it can. Uh, okay, fine. Yeah, it caused quite a bit of damage, to be fair. Certainly caused... Okay, no, so it's got a bit of damage done as well. That's nice. And yeah, as I said, as soon as that dies... Oh, what is he doing? What is he doing? <laughs> Here you go. Go in this building. You'll be safe. Blech. You'll be safe. <laughs> oh, size, 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 size. Yeah, that is very much in range of that. Uh, you just need a Toxin Tractor at this point. Yeah, there it is. And you're safe. What isn't safe is this worker, which does need to get that up. Probably will get it up. Get it up, get it up, get it up. It's going to be close, actually. Oh, my word. <laughs> oh. 
Uh, zero hours of fun game, isn't it? Fine margins. Uh, size actually does have a presence on this island, which is nice. But it doesn't have any oils. Excal already on one. Oh, he's trying to get the second one. That technical is going to deny it, though. And yeah, Excal doing a fine job of actually the uh, denying the oil so far. Very nice. Oh, that's a nice... That's actually pretty nicely done there from size. Who is actually expanding on a third supply now. It's going to get his economy a little bit shredded here, mind. Uh, technical will get saved. That's very nice. Gonna get away, he is. That's annoying. And so he's not quite succeeding in getting rid of Excal here either. I can't believe he got that, man. Oh, is he gonna. Ah, uh, if he force fired. That's a shame. And this is gonna get wrecked. Okay, yeah, this is looking. Mind you, the bottom left island. This, I think, if size right now concentrates on this island, he might have a chance in this game. But I think he's possibly over-focusing on the top right right now. There is definitely something here for him. Uh, okay, that is going to go down then. Can get himself a super tech as well. Uh, Excal hasn't quite... Okay, there he goes. Okay. Uh, and yeah, opportunity missed, I'm afraid. Um, maybe he's just happy settling with one, I don't really know. I honestly think there was a good opportunity for him to take the island there. And yeah, Excal did deny that, that's very nice. Uh, this is the difference. Uh, because he's got the middle control and he's got this, more protection for the soil, whereas Size has just got... Okay, this is nice. This has to be stopped. There's no way you can let him get away with that. Yeah, he's going to lose that. That's a shame. Uh, Excalc is sitting pretty on two oils here. Whereas Size is on uh, two oils. To make that three. He's got the one in the middle as well. Size did have it for a bit. Uh, I think he misses opportunity, I really do, yeah. Excal's got the middle supplies as well. That tunnel might as well go down. What has size actually got here? Not a lot, I think is the answer. Very keen to keep this position on the island, but I think it's going to be difficult. But seriously, I don't even know what he's actually got unit-wise. Oh, wow. Uh, and yeah, this island's going. The opportunity is missed, I'm afraid. I think he overfocused on this area and he knows it's over. It's GG. Yeah, there's no point fighting that. That is a 3 1 lead for Excal. And as I said, very difficult for Demo to win on that map. And I think that probably wasn't the greatest choice of map for this matchup, in my opinion. Um, Sand Scorpion has seen some great games over the years, but I don't think Tox Demo works very well. Tox Demo was originally meant to be on Irish Front, and I actually think that would have been better. I think that would that would have produced some interesting games. Um, but on this map, with the with the buildings, you know, with everything else, I think it's very difficult. Air Stealth is going to be on Liquid Gold, and that is going to be X Scale as the Stealth first. Okay. Uh, stealth Air, very nice. <laughs> Nike. <laughs> uh, lol. Hello there, Pret. Hello, hello, hello. Okay, I need to get going. Rafe, if you can make people mod, I don't know if you can or not. If you can, can you make Pret a mod, please? Oh, hello there, Facey. And hello there... I'm having a uh, Charbel. I was having a, uh, a brain freeze for a moment there. Okay, match number five, and in the north we have size in orange as air. 
And in the south on liquid gold, we have Excal in purple as stealth. Dual Rax opener for him. Rax opener for size. And I think this is kind of the obvious builder. Honest to God, there's one thing I'll never get right. And I can watch Excal, I can watch size. And no matter what I do, whenever I play on this map, I never get the build order right. I <laughs> mean, never. Uh, Rax and Jewel Supply for size, where it is Rax and Singles. I think the thing I screw up on, and this is the thing, I think Excal, when he does this, he does delay his second supply. Or am I going to chat total rubbish and is he just going to build it immediately? That's a fake arms dealer for sure. In comes the tunnel. That's actually really nicely positioned, to be fair. Don't think he'll be successful in getting it up. There is the second supply. And there is a lot of rebels fanning out. Nice tunnel position there. We'll definitely fail to get that one. Uh, did size spot that though? I don't think he did. I think if he had done though, it would have been very nice. So uh, there is an airfield. Okay. Hmm. And the oil capture will be coming in any time now. That's actually a super nice tunnel. That. Uh, oil capture, one coming in here, and eventually one coming in there. Okay, he has scanned that now. That rebel is being very ambitious and will go down short. Oh my god, it hasn't. Uh, surely going to go down now. Yeah? Yes? Yes, just. Whoa. Uh, oil did go in here as well for size and here. Okay, so he's on two oils. x is going to be on one, two, three... That's not that bad a start, actually. That's not a bad start at all. There's a King Raptor. That went in to deny something. I don't know what. Uh, either way, it's going to get denied itself. Ah, oh, there's a terrorist. Ouch. Ah, oh, killed his own technical sex gal. That is rookie, man. Yeah, that's actually surprisingly rookie for, uh, for x gal. I'm really surprised at that. Okay, that goes down. Very nice pick off for size. And not a bad start for size, this overall. Uh, that drone's very useful, actually. And I like the fact that he kept his CC, actually. And there is a Comanche third oil now coming into play. We have Excal on one, two, three oils. And that's it. Versus the three of size. So even Steven so far on the oils. And the supplies are even too. So I'd say this is overall pretty good, actually. That Comanche just needs to run away at this point. Uh, as I said, run away. <laughs> Maybe not. What I would like to see is some kind of deny here. But he lost his Comanche. Comanche see, this is the thing. Comanche could have just come across here and denied that. But now he's over-focused on that area. x is going to go, thank you very much. I'll take these two oils then. And it's not like he couldn't see it happening. I mean, it's there in front of him, but... I don't really get where Sizes' economy is. Oh, that could be massive. Oh, no, it was empty. Fair enough. I thought it might have had a spare terrorist in, but nope. It did not. Okay, this is weirdly nice from Size, who is up against a third arms dealing building x -scout. Not sure that's the best strategy. Again, I don't know why I'm questioning x -scout. He knows better than me. <laughs> I think I prefer to see... I don't know. Nah, he knows better than me. I'm, I'm not going to debate it. This is very nice. Yeah, it's just casual little quads like this. Super annoying for an air to deal with. Okay, that is going to deal the damage though. Is size going to get himself search and destroy soon? God, where is his money gone? Honestly, I cannot understand where he's spending the money. Probably needs to get flashbangs actually. Okay, that tunnel's been revealed now then. So I should probably beacon that, if I'm honest. Okay, yeah, he's just going to deny that oil instead. Fair enough. He's got three King Raptors, and there is the search and destroy. Okay, wanted to kill the building. That's actually pretty nice. Micro... It's very nice. Alright, nicely done there. That is pretty wasteful, actually, from x I'm not really sure what those quads were planning on achieving. Uh, that will get denied though by x -Scale. Very nice. 
there is a palace building and there is three arms dealers. And he's incredibly still got a 3k float. There is some supplies. I suppose he is on five oils. Is it five? Five. Trying to get six. Wow. -ly. And only loses one King Raptor for it. Wow. Okay. Not bad. Uh, we are going to need to see a reaction here, though, from Excal. Actually, this is kind of a bit of a problem for Excal. Especially if Search and Destroy comes up, which it won't. That's kind of annoying. Very nice micro overall, though, from size. Uh, could to needs to deny that. Yeah, okay, I was going to say. Uh, get on to Search and Destroy, and you will be just fine. Does Excal queue up some buggies? I suspect yes. I'm pretty sure he would have queued some buggies there. This is actually very nice, though, from, um, from size. And had he got that palace instead of that, he'd be on buggies by now. So, maybe I do know what I'm talking about. Uh, is he on? Oh, he's on a power, though. That's why he's getting these out so quick. And such a destroy does now come into play. But is two buggies, three buggies, going to be enough? Is the question. Now, that one is going to go down. Okay. Okay, quad goes down. Incredibly, that is just surviving. And yeah, the buggy spam is in full motion here. That one power kind of swinging things. Size is three star though. We know what three star air forces can do. Cal, that's pretty optimistic of X Cal. Very nice uh, laser locking there from size. In comes the Spectre. That kills that oil. I think that's a good choice. At this point, you just want to shred the economy, I think. Uh, maybe get rid of that power as well. Single A10 on that would be nice when he gets it. Uh, carpet bomb, I was about to say. There must be a carpet bomb soon. That is definitely going to hit that. Yeah, okay. No more power for X-Scale. That was an important pick-off, actually. Okay, that oil finally goes down and now needs to pick that off. And Sai's doing a fairly good job here so far. Somewhat methodically, but it's done, done pretty well. Okay, yeah, recognise that that might have gone down there. And evax, that's nice. Uh, only just getting a market now. Excal was desperately queuing the buggies then, but so much so he couldn't actually queue down markets. So he's only just getting the markets now. I uh, did actually lose those supplies earlier as well. That's very nicely done. Size using these buildings to good effect for himself, actually. Uh, and he is floating 5k. As I say that, he's spent his money. Yeah, proper dinosaur squad tonight. Or today, or whatever time it is for you. Okay, nice evac there. And the quad buggies are doing a fairly good job here then for it. Um, for size. Uh, for Excal, sorry. And I think at this point, we're going to need to see some stealth Comanches. Okay, final oil go down. So what have we got? We've got one oil, two oil for Excal. Two oil, two supplies. And that is it. And a market. Okay. Oh, and actually, is it that one? Did I count? Okay, three supplies, to be fair. Right, three supplies. Uh, that is now size on four star. X scale, not even three star yet. That is a single A10. That could be... Oh, nearly, actually. That would have been super nice if he'd taken all of that out. And the buggies are a real problem here. I'd like to see a Colonel Burton, actually. Using these King Raptors to good effect as well, actually, size. Not forgetting they exist, you know. It needs to run away now. Okay, nicely done. And the problem is with this army, it is slowly diminishing. Oh, actually, x -Scale might get caught out here. Uh, has he got the upgrades from the market? He's got worker shoes. Needs to upgrade the buggies, however. I expect that will come in any time. Now, there is a Burton built. Oh, he's going for the oil, actually. Uh, just use a King Raptor to finish it off. Although, as I say that, he is using three King Raptors to kill this oil. Very nice. Uh, will we get a pop here from Excal? Probably not. Oh, we do, actually. Doesn't pick off a Raptor, unfortunately, for him. Uh, and Excal continues to sit on one oil, actually, versus Size, who, by the way, has three oils still. 
So economically speaking, I'll tell you, that's really nice. This is amazing from size. I mean, he's gone. He's actually secured this area pretty nicely. Ah, uh, but he's gone in. X Gal always finds a way. I'll tell you, always finds a way. But um, still looking really pretty encouraging this for size, I'd say. We'll lose a... No, but this is fine. This is going to get cleared up. Oh, what a horrible... Oh, my word. <laughs> oh, wow. Uh, Excal just channeled his inner Fargo there. That wasn't great. That was pretty terrible, actually, I have to say. Um, ah, and Burton is getting the final oil. And we'll probably just sweep that up as well, actually. Excal in trouble, I have to say. Excal is in trouble. He's going to lose that. And if he's not careful, he'll lose a quad for it as well, you know. Don't tell me he's going to lose that. Okay, no, he gets nearly. Yeah, definitely. Size Devin, I mean, Size doing a great job. I love that. Audacious as it is, doing a really nice job. And the buggy count is dwindling here for Excal, who isn't on a massive amount of money. And not at least 14k like Size is. Traditional size float. Uh, would really like... Okay, does lose that. Would really, really, really like to see some stealth comms. Uh, size very close to 5-star. Excal is on 3-star. Is he got... Yes, he has. He's got the, um, the cash bounty. 10% of it, actually. That's very nice. F size is floating 8... 15k. 17k there for a moment. It's like he loves doing it, doesn't he? The traditional um, size float. Hello there, GNX. Hey. <laughs> Spell, great to see you, man. Hope to see you around more very soon. Pleasure. Good to hear that you're well. Okay, this oil is going to get picked off. Ah, oh, this is clever from size. Ah, oh, that's really nice. So, yeah, picked off. Yeah, well played. Really nice move. Actually did take two or three buggies with him there. And he's actually collecting comfortably from here, actually. Still does have a tunnel there, x -Gal. But um, I'm not really sure there's anything you can do at this point. Um, it is pretty difficult for the stealth when you're only on, what, once... I mean, that supply's nearly gone. as not how much is left. So that's basically done. So you're kind of on two supplies, and that's it. Because size has killed every oil that x has been anywhere near. So very nicely done by him. Still actually has two oils himself as well. Single A10 coming in. That's probably going to knock out Tunnel Eyes. Ah, was hoping to tease him in. Didn't quite achieve it. That's a shame. Uh, x needs to be careful here, though. I must admit, he might actually call the GG pretty soon here. I don't really think there's anything he can do at this point. If he loses the supply, it's basically curtains for him. And that's just ran out, and he's only on the one market. Uh, it does have 10% bounty, but that isn't going to be enough, I'm afraid. The economy is just wrecked for x -Gal. And size is a 5-star Air Force floating 17k. <laughs> uh, yeah, size. Okay, he's just going to rebuild those supplies. Fair enough. And in he comes again. After I think the air definitely has the advantage, but can size pull it back to 3 3? He's looking extremely likely to make it 3 2, but can he win as the stealth as well? Spectre's going to come in and lay waste to this, uh, especially if it's a vet 2, which by the way, he might have, don't forget. Yeah, I think this is actually, that is a uh, vet 2 Spectre, that is. It's very nice to see. Underrated. Size does like his Vet 2 Spectres, actually. He's even building Tomahawks. <laughs> uh, size. Can you imagine? Imagine how good Size would be if he knew what to do with all that money, honestly. Scary how good he is as it is. Okay, Colonel Burton getting in the way of x units. x is persisting, but in vain, I suspect. He has nothing. He actually has virtually no economy. He's having to sell one of his arms dealers here. In comes a carpet bomb. That... Oh, it's a... Wow, it's a Moab. Well, that's one way of floating. <laughs> that's, it, he's floating 22k, and he just spent 4, 4k of that on a Moab. You have been uh, that's defeated. epic. Well played, size. Very resounding victory from there. And he brings it back to 3-2. Ah, 
Actually, I'm not. Uh, do you know what? I'm not going to comment on it. Um, I don't like to really comment on things during the games, um, just in case it throws one of the other players off. It's just kind of like out of respect of anything. Right, we know that Excal is going to be the air, and we know that Sal is going to be the stealth this time. Yeah, see, if I'm being like, oh, you float 22k, you spent 4k a bit, blah, blah, blah. Maybe Excal will be like, well, fuck you. <laughs> he doesn't need that mid set, does he? Uh, welcome, KS Cyber Players. Welcome, uh, Hesso. And hello there, Hassan. Hello there, Millie. <laughs> hello, Mr. Call Me Sam. Definitely, definitely not getting a co-cast co today. This is way too big a stream. Uh, hello there, Fr Faris Kidder. Uh, Big Logica, hello. Uh, and hello, everyone else, unless I've missed you. Antipro top three English accent. Oh, the other que the question is, who's the other two? I guess Xgal and someone else. Domi, maybe? Or Millie? I don't know. Actually, that's a good point. Who is the top? It's got me and Xgal got to be top two for sure. Anyway, in the top, we have got Xgal himself. The man in question, air, in purple as air. Actually, Alfie. Alfie has definitely got he has got a really good um, English accent, to be fair. And in the south, we have a big size uh, in orange as stealth. Going for the same build order, which I think makes sense. Whereas if you're X-Gal, he'll probably just do the... All right, at least I now know the build order if you're air on this map. Or do I? What is size doing with... Sorry, what is X-Gal doing with that dozer? Is he just going to go off for some crushes? Looks like it. Yeah, he is. Okay. This is a very, very slow opener then for x -Gal. Hmm. Just going for a casual two supplies in the background whilst attempting three oils. And he's going to use this dozer as his sole form of aggression. Now, the problem with that is if it fails, <laughs> you've got a problem. And if you can get a tech out quick enough, you've got a bigger problem. Uh, this worker should probably just not be so ambitious, in my opinion. Xcal is going to get himself onto dual supply, and the question is, how many of the free oils that you're attempting to grab will you get? And will size get an... Oh, he has got that up, okay. Hmm, I'm not sure about this, Xcal. I'm not sure about this. If that if that technical comes out, what, what have we got here? Oil here, oil here, oil here, and Xcal now just getting his oils in. This dozer is definitely, definitely going down here, and it probably will not get the crush in time. Actually, it might. Oh no, size isn't going to let him. I don't mind that. I don't mind that at all. Yeah, all right. You have to wait for it to reload, but you know you're not going to lose that now. Okay, size does finally then get. That in, and he is Xgal gonna get. Sorry, Xgal gets his War Factory. In. Sorry. Oh, that was a miss. Hmm. Now he needs a Toxin Tractor. Actually, that would be a pretty nice move. Oh, we'll lose the tech. That is unfortunate. Good harassment here from Xgal, who is going for the second War Factory straight away. It's gonna be a Toby spam, then, is it? Might well be a Toby spam. Uh, but size is on one, two, three, four oils behind this. Hmm. Needs to repair that. I think that's what that work is going to do, actually. Oh, he's just going to go over there and get a second supply. That's actually a good point. He hasn't actually. Oh, big pop. And he does save as much of it as possible, actually. That's some pretty good saves. Uh, because eh. <laughs> size is doing sizey things once again. And he's going to put two quads here. And that is going to shove Xcal right back here. I think he has spotted it. Uh, that's a very free pick off there for Xcal. Bit of a waste there. I think he's going to take... Gee, these V's. Uh, oh, they are so weak, man. Now, oh, the quads didn't actually focus the V's down there. That's a shame. Bit wasteful there. And he's going to let him get the oil in. Ah, size. Uh, size is economy flagging a little bit, despite the fact that he's on four oils. Make that five. 
And yeah, Tovi spam. Okay, S and D is gonna go down now. That oil and this oil probably will go down as well. And I think, how do you counter a Tovi spam? I think he needs to get to a palace. But I mean, Silas is spending his money, but for the love of me, I can't see on what. <laughs> Can anyone please help tell me what the hell he's spending his money on? Because honestly, I've got no clue. That was a bit premature, I'm afraid. And he put them in a bit prematurely, I think. Uh, if I was x -Gal, I would just try and wreck that now, actually. Just force fire it. But no, he's not doing that. Okay. That's a really nice evac. Really nicely done. Wow, 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 whoa, 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 what was that? Hmm. Okay, it's just going to counter. That's probably the right move, actually. The Toby spam looking pretty nice here for Excal. Uh, these fire bases have done a sterling job, though. Uh, we'll lose them, and the fire bases give pretty nice XP away, by the way. Yeah, it's pretty tasty. Dozer goes down, uh, but so do the quads. Uh, Silas is only just getting that second supply back now, and he is quad spamming. I'm not entirely sure it's the best move. Problem with quads, you can't just you can't really do anything in terms of like aim moving. You have to focus the Vs down. If you aim move, they just hit the drones, and that is extremely annoying. Uh, this is very nice. Excal is going for it with the Vs, isn't he? Three war factories now, and he is expanding to a third supply. So I was going for a cheeky oil grab. Too cheeky. And he is on the supplies on the right here. Hmm. Okay, there is some terrorists being loaded, but they have rallied to their deaths, I'm afraid. Is x paying attention? Yes, he is. That's very nice. Don't tell me x is going to build supplies here. That's surely... That is, that is definitely an overstretch. Oh, he actually is. <laughs> Just taking the piss at this point. I mean, what the hell are you going to do against that? Although, saying that, Excal, just for a moment, a little bit off with the micro there. Size is doing a very nice job. Goes around, teases, uh, and now Excal clears it up. Actually, okay, that's nice. We'll temporarily take that oil away from Mexico. I don't think it really matters, to be honest with you. Yeah, this was this looks a little bit ambitious, to be honest. A bit optimistic, certainly. Almost taking the Mickey at that point. Now, that is a lot of these, though. And again, you can't A move into these. You've just got a micro, micro, micro. Okay, this building is going to be a problem, though. Uh, Excal choosing to gun it down. Not sure that's the best choice, though. Yeah, he's going to try and gun this down. Uh, he knows better than me. Yeah, I mean, actually, that was fine in the end. Hello there, Flamiori. Hello, Madara. Hello, Carpet Bomber. Hello, Four Star. That is going to be both of them, actually. And the Spectre took that out as well. Actually, no, not both of them. Mm, Could have been a better Carpet Bomb. I think size looks like he's just struggling, to be honest with you. Load of these here, load of these here. Blob them all into one and really got no chance. This is actually pretty nice though. Nice pickoffs. Very nice pickoffs. Does take three with him there. Very nice. Needs to cancel that and does. But uh, what are you going to do about the V's in your base? You've got no base actually. <laughs> That size has literally got no base. He's got that, but what's that going to do, really? And yeah, I think Excal is going to make this 4 2. The V spam was successful. And I think size had a very brief window of opportunity in this game, and he just didn't take it. That very brief window closed extremely quickly. And he is trying his best to harass Excal, but he's got so many Vs now, he can basically put it in two groups a defensive group, a much larger defensive group, I should add. And then a nice small attack group that really is enough to just shred the rest. Raxes are getting sold here. One of them does successfully sell. Excal quickly took that oil back. Hmm. 
And Excal has actually re-expanded to that. Actually, I don't think he ever lost that. It's amazing how many nooks he's le left. In his, or, sorry, lost, and he's still got seven of them. Jesus. Uh, Spectre comes in. That will wreck that oil. And I'm pretty sure it sizes out of ideas here. I mean, he's persisting, but I'm not sure why. Because when an air force has taken these supplies, you should probably know the game is over. I mean, this is just... Yeah, Excal putting on a bit of a show here, actually. And these Tobies really are absolutely wrecking everything. GG, there it is. Very well played from Excal. That is a 4-2 lead for him. Oh, right. So, Sars will choose this time. Question is, what will he choose? Um, I already can't bother to... Oh, should I look at the description? I probably should. Of my own video. <laughs> so. We have seen so far... Air Stealth on Liquid Gold and Tox Demo on Sand Scorpion. There are three left. Uh, is that one, two, four, six? Yeah, so I suppose there's actually. If it goes all the way to the distance, then we will have seen every matchup, won't have we? Yeah. Okay, so the question is what will size. I think size will probably go in GLA here. If I had to guess. I think he'll go in GLA. But I've been wrong many times before. Maybe he'll go tank stealth on plant waste, actually. He does like that matchup. Yeah, let's see what he goes for, anyway. What will he go for? Uh, yeah, see you, GNX, I was going to say. Inf GLA, there it is. Will he go for the Inf or the GLA, though? He will go for the Inf, which means Xgal has got the GLA. Uh, on that note, I will go away for two seconds and get myself a quick drink. So, one second, guys. Right, we're back. Let's just double check that we're actually back. Yes, we are. Excellent. <laughs> okay. Well, he says he's back, but is he ready to go?
More GLA. Seven of eight games with... Yeah, there is a lot of GLA here. I think every single matchup involves a GLA. There's no USA Chinas, which is a shame. Hello, Imbecise. I don't know if I am pro, though. <laughs> okay, so in the north, on Vendetta, we have size in orange as infantry. There is the infantry. And in the south, we have Excal in purple as vanilla GLA. All right. Um, what do I think about this map for this matchup? I think this actually works okay because these buildings can put a lot of work in. And these buildings. And overall, basically, you've got buildings. They put the work in. And you can slow down the infantry. Uh, especially if you are successful. The question is, this truck, how much damage is that actually going to cause? And will he get that up? I'm pretty certain he's going to get that up, x -Girl. But, size has spotted the worker. And the worker goes down. So that is the right side lost immediately. And looks like uh, size is going for a somewhat passive build order. Okay, terrorist is moving. Actually, that is just going to go home, which is fair enough. Okay. I think if that went on a journey across here, it could actually get some work done. But a technical would probably be re a react by that point. So, Dozer here is going to spot the worker, is it? Yes, it is. That's very nice. And this work, this truck's actually going to be... Okay. Interestingly, size isn't going for the mini gunner upgrade, which is surprising. Very surprising, actually. We are going to need to see a flamer here for, uh, for size, actually. Which is exactly what we're seeing. And I think this outpost will just deny that. Flamer will come in, and yes, work done. Uh, that's actually super nice harassment, though, from x -Scale. And the mines do come in, just not quite in time. Okay, that actually was a bit wasteful. Technical is... Oh, that's a dozer, but... He's kept the CC, so no hunting issues today. Uh, those here went down. Oh no, the Dozer's here still chasing away, actually. Okay. Dozer will get away. Nice. And Size is just slowly and surely, methodically taking... Oh, needs to put that on guard mode, though. Oh, does take it. Oh, he's not going to react to that, is he? That's a real shame. Come on, Size, do it! Ah, damn it. That's so annoying to witness. Seriously, I can't even tell you how frustrating that is. All in while this is happening, Tunnel does get up on the right-hand side here for, uh, for Excal. And a third uh, supply is on the cards. Quads now come out and wreck that. Uh, I don't know. Size just looks a little bit slow here. These tech, the tech harassments are really nice. He spotted this one nice and early. I'm not feeling very confident for this technical, I will be honest with you. <laughs> yeah. Uh, unless size actually engages. Okay. Got away with it. Um, oil now coming in. Third supply now in then for size. Uh, X, uh, size was trying to get in that bunker, but x -Gal denies very nicely. Surprised, surprised at how passive the players have been playing, actually, so far. I mean, both of them. I mean, you know, CC keep. Obviously, in the last game, we saw x -Gal go for a really passive build order. It worked, but, you know. Uh, where'd the units go, actually? Okay. That is definitely, definitely dead. And, yeah, what is the plan here for size then? Is he just waiting to get a prop? I suspect he might just throw down a prop at this stage. Um, flame it down, maybe? Yeah. I mean, you won't get it, but... Oh, this is going to be close, actually. If he gets in that, that's actually pretty big. Yeah, size will get in that. That's pretty big, actually. 
any sign. Okay, no, Excal is also on the left hand side. Done a really fine job in this game of actually managing to take slowly and surely the entire map. Don't really know how he's done it. Very methodical, I must say. But size getting in there is definitely an important point. Ah, oh, there's another bit of harassment, but that does get denied. I wonder what else went down. That was was that just a dozer, presumably? Wouldn't mind seeing a bunker or two from size here. That actually wouldn't be all that bad idea. Palace now getting thrown down then by Excal, whose money is looking fairly solid. You know, he's on three, four supplies. He's just going to gun that down. I think that's the right call, actually. But he is going to get out of there while he can, is he? Yes. Okay. Mm, they could get some work done if they push down quickly. And in comes the quads. Don't think the oil's going to go down here. Oh, it's going to be close. Oh, what are you doing? you got to commit at that point. Oh, no, I don't know about that. And there's enough quads here to deal with this. Mm, I don't know. Second one, arms dealer is going to get thrown down here then by Excal. Both players floating 3k. This oil should now go down. Okay. Ah, oh, that's very nice from Excal. Very preemptive strike. Nicely done. Could potentially come back to bite him later, though. Oil does now go down. Yeah, the thing is that there is now nothing stopping size just throttling down there. So I'm not entirely sure about it. But I do like this. I do like that. And I'm just wondering if Size has got some kind of magic ability to know what's coming. Maybe not. <laughs> As I said that, he pretty much just turns around. So, yeah. Oh, dear. And wait for the reaction. There it is. That's actually a pretty nice move. Uh, Exco is definitely going to knock that down. And that cell won't come in time, I'm afraid. Quads do need to be careful, however. Pretty sure they will go down. At least another one will probably get knocked out here. Perfect from size. Absolutely perfect. Barely lost an infant. Barely lost a unit. I mean, he lost two outposts, but I don't actually think he lost a guy in size. So very nicely done. Flamer is trying to get in here, and I wouldn't mind it just burning that down to a cinder, actually. There's a casual terrorist, which size impressively has spotted, and the flamer does get sniped. Jarman Kell is obviously now out then. Hmm. Yeah, this is now the stage of the game where it gets really, really difficult. And I have to admit, this is He's done a real fine job here as X Scout. Quite why size is trying to headbutt this area, I'm not sure, but I mean I don't know. I think you have to. CCM isn't putting in as much work as it probably should. I was going to say. Okay, now it goes forward. And actually, is there a counter-attack here from Xcal? There is. Size needs to be desperately careful here. But he is getting a lot of work done here as well. Oh, there's some mines. Okay, so he's three-star then. Okay. Nearly four-star, actually. Angry mobs. That's a nice counter. And, yeah, I think uh, Size is just thinking, carry on. A carpet bomb, but it's going to twist the wrong way. So it only gets one. But there's some nice mines. And this army now coming in. But these angry mobs, which do need arm the mob, is a very nice response from Mexico. Who is floating 6k+. plus. Queen Muff says GG. I'm not surprised. Uh, hello, Mr. X. Uh, hello. Uh, who else have we got? Uh, Marapi. Hello, hello. Mr. X says hi, Anthony. I don't see Anthony, actually. Or is Marapi actually Anthony in disguise? I think it might be, actually. <laughs> you don't need to be in disguise here, my friend, if that is the case. Uh, that oil is somehow not dead. Click on it once and it will be. 
Yep, that goes down. I mean, I can't really complain. It just gets me an extra sub, doesn't it? <laughs> uh, uh, yeah, so size is slowly working its way across the map, but I think it might be too little too late. Hmm. Size wins by one game, Cream Elf says. Uh, hmm. I mean, you wouldn't think so, considering this is looking more like a 5-2 than it is a 4-3. And Arm the Mob is out. Oh, no, it's not, actually. Excal definitely needs to get Arm the Mob out, and I would like to see Size get either a Flamer, or, I was also going to say, a MIG, or one Inferno Cannon. Either would work. Actually, I have to admit, Size doing a pretty nice job of all this. Oh, wow, okay. Yeah, yeah, that's it. I mean, look at all of that combined. And actually, Excal now, all of a sudden, doesn't really look like he's got all that much. There is a very nice Lotus in play here as well. Oh, that was nicely done from Excal, though. A very deliberate running there. Yeah, this is really good play. Deliberately running these workers into, um, into these just so that then the splash damage does the job and actually was successful in taking two out. But, size so paying attention with the micro. We do have AP bullets out. That's crucial for the GLA. And so, X scale floating 7.5k. Hmm. Size so doing a very nice job. Also floating quite a bit, actually. Both players floating some good money here. Still haven't got arm the mob, which is really irritating me, if I'm honest with you. Hmm. Yeah, so I was doing a fine job, I have to say. Left side, middle. Jarman Cow is here. I'd like to see that building get taken, actually. Okay, that mini gunner goes down. And MIGs now coming in. Not sure where they got used just then. It's incredible to think that Size has done all of this on one war factory. I have to admit, I don't know how. So what was that guy trying to achieve? He's got an ECM actually. That's a nice pick off. Mig. Oh, but that's going to allow him to headbutt this now. Yeah, nice. Uh, this is dangerous for x -Gal. Okay, that's a little bit unfortunate. Uh, still no arm the mob. Still no arm the mob. And Lotus. Oh, wow. Okay. That's a bit of a gift there from Excal. Uh, we have a CC that's now up. Uh, size is 5 star. Okay. Uh, Excal is now 3 star himself. Uh, Dozen. Oh, wow, he's going for an internet center. Of course he is. <laughs> uh, would like to see Size come down here, and that is exactly what he's going to do with the Dozer. Size doing a hell of a job. And uh, all of it. You know what? This is the crazy thing about this game. I mean, Queen pretty much called it, I think. Um, knows how dangerous infantry can be, but there was a gen there was a moment where it looked like there was no way the infantry was going to win, and all of a sudden, look at the map. Excal has been cleared quite drastically. Uh, where's Lotus? Did she get out of there? Or did she go down in the end? Looks like she went down in the end. Hmm. Infantry is a very very. Very powerful army, I have to say. And these guys are getting shredded. Nicely done here from size overall. Very good. More MIGs. Here comes some mines. In comes a massive blob on the right hand side. Uh, doesn't need to waste all these MIGs, to be honest with you. Needs to get MIG armor as well. Still can't believe Excal hasn't got the arm the mob upgrade. That's criminal. He did at least clear that up, but at what cost? Uh, oh, mind you, that wasn't a great engagement for size on the right hand side. Wow. Okay. In comes a massive blob of stuff. <laughs> the big old artillery blob. Jarmakel putting in the work here. These are suddenly some. Oh, does he get. No, that's a shame. Was going for the big hit here. But there was a load of stuff here, so it didn't really work, did it? 
Okay, size now looking to consolidate this area. Um, and he's pretty comfortable actually, he's kind of chilling. Excal, who has depleted these supplies, is still on two supplies. Uh, one, two markets as well. No oils. These supplies have nearly gone down. These are pretty much all but drained. And this is the problem now for size. He needs to drain this area. Actually, and once again, is the game just twisting again? Are we going to see the, a successful boy camp suddenly start kicking off here from x -Gal? I think we might, actually. Size does have a full internet center, however, and he's got a load of mix, which are going to probably get a very nice strike. And the Jarman Kel. Uh, that was actually a pretty terrible strike in the end. <laughs> yeah, that wasn't good. Uh, Jarman Kel did survive, crucially. First snipe. Very nice. Size does get straight back in there, though. And both just fighting for 10k here. Next guy going to win this. Is that an ECM? Uh, uh, e uh, become Alfie. An EMP. Yes, it is. Wow. Okay. There's an ECM. That is an EMP. <laughs> what have you done to me, Alfie? Uh, one cheeky quad on the right. Just more annoying than anything else, but pretty nice move. Now, the problem with this is just no follow-up, right? Kind of need to do something to follow up here. It's no good doing a nice EMP when you're just going to leave it there. So, yeah. Okay, that quad will now get wrecked. Uh, just a case of building more markets then for X gal I think size needs to probably prioritise hitting them. And yeah, both players just jockeying for position, really. I don't think size wants to be completely wasteful. Mind you, that was a really nice hit. Ao, yeah, that was worth it. See, that was worth it. That was a nice hit. That Jarman Kale seriously needs to die. But I think x is pulling himself back here. Especially with the bounty. Um, bounty against infantry is amazing. Because you get money for killing that. And you get money for killing the contents. I So yeah, I mean, one of these alone, if you've got the 20% bounty, is massive. This is potentially a huge carpet bomb, though. Oh, wow. Crucially, he keeps the ECM alive. That ECM has really worked wonders here for x -Gal, I have to admit. <laughs> yeah, Size was definitely losing. Then Size looked like he was winning. And now it looks like Size is losing again. I can't really keep up. This has kind of been anyone's guess, really. Uh, x -Gal still hasn't got on the mob. So, I mean, it makes this kind of engageable, actually. Just as long as you micro correctly. Uh, th at this point, just use your Super Lotus. Seriously, use your Super Lotus. Hmm. Okay, this these two flavors could cause some problems. If they just casually wander into the base and cause absolute devastation, which they might. Because the ECM's all the way over here. That's another mind drop. And that's a very nice mind drop. Oh, wow. These two flavors from size. Uh, no point ECMing that, mate. You ain't gonna get anywhere. Oh, wow, okay. Yeah, this is a problem. <laughs> that is massive. Absolutely massive. Can't be losing markets to two flamers that have just walked in your base. You really can't. Uh, you're gonna lose a third here as well. Actually, he might save. Yeah, he'll probably save that. Will he? Will he? Yeah, he just saves it. Uh, Still no arm the mob. He's floating 9k x gal. So it's not like money's a problem. Like, again, what's he spending his money on? Could just throw a scud just throw a scud down. Oh okay, yeah. Kinda bottled that actually, x gal. That Jar McKell's really nice. Yeah, that's a super nice JK. I think he's just comfortable actually, x gal. I think he Probably feels like he's not going to lose this game. But the thing is, Size has got a lot of hackers. So he's not out of it himself. Will x -Gal eventually get himself Scud Launchers? That could be a nice addition. But this area is soon going to become kind of superfluous. Because that is drained. 
Oh, XK, I want to see. Drive me mad. Please, 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 please get arm the mob. <laughs> Uh, okay, yep, that's a nice shot. Just take out a market. Sensible. We have got a vet free Jarman, which we all like to see for meme purposes, of course. Just needs to be put on a bike now. Yeah, going down to the wire, this one. This is a nice pick off with the mix. Nao, hello there, Nao, and hello, Marika. Size so far from winning still. I mean, yes, I agree. It's winnable. Uh, hello there, Fire Lord, as well. It's winnable, but he's far from winning, I agree. Biff Truck says size one. No, I disagree with that. Um, what have we got? We have got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 15, 16, 17 hackers, which is quite a lot. Plays 1, 2, 3 markets. Uh, and a little bit of money here, and the bounty upgrade. Hmm. Yeah, it's anyone's game, this. Okay, that's nice targeting from size. Who is now going to get in there as well. That's a good move. Haven't seen a single Inferno cannon yet, and I haven't actually seen... Okay, that's nice. Haven't seen Jarman Kill try and get... Um... A dozer either. But that that Jarman, the problem is that Jarman's so nice now you don't really want to waste it on just going for that, do you? Um, it's become a bit stale actually, this game. Bit of a Mexican standoff going on here. This is, see, the problem with this is it looks nice. It looks like a nice army, but it isn't really going to achieve that much. The GLA just has an absolute whale of a time defending. If you aren't going to build Inferno Cannons, what do you expect? This is nice from size. He is making his base uh, counter. He's basically count. Oh, that's a shame. If only he'd hit that. Okay, looks like he wants. To, but again, like, what is the purpose? I mean, all size can do is get let his opponent get to five star at this stage. I suppose he is going to clear out a load of uh, tunnels here. Actually, is he going to kill the German? No. Oh, there's a counter-attack on here, actually. Uh, this could be an EMP, actually. Yeah, it is. That is a really, really nice EMP. Fair play. <laughs> Very fair play. That is a really nice EMP from size. Really, really nice. And these MiGs are going to just wreck these now. Yeah, mine's actually did the job, to be fair. And there's more here. Jarman Kill needs to be very careful. And all of a sudden, it looks like Size is the one who's in the lead. But Xgal is floating money. Yeah, mine's in front of that. Very nice. And what have we got? Market, 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 market. Four, five, six. Seven. There are eight markets out for Xgal, but... Ooh, oh, he's gone for Frenzy. Okay. What to do when you don't have a clue what to do with your gem promos? Get Frenzy. And there is a push on both sides here. And I don't think Xgal can hold this. Not when you haven't got arm the mob and you haven't actually cleared these mines. And that's the only arm stealer he's on. Actually, second arm stealer going down now, but it might be too little too late, this. Size doing pretty well at the minute, I have to say. Has got a decent economy. The gem promos are helping. And there is the anthrax bomb, but Size has basically anticipated that. Really, really nice from Size. Uh, in comes the carpet. Doesn't actually get stopped. And a market does go down there. That is GPS scramble. And it's really all going to come down to a sneak attack now. Is there a radar ban? Yes. And he does have radar ban scan. So let's look out for some of these being scanned here. Hmm, I don't know. I think size might be in trouble soon. He might be in trouble soon. I think one sneak attack. Ah, oh, that's unlucky. Sneaky worker, which will actually get spotted by this wandering outpost. And that is the worst possible place he could have snuck sneak attacked. Okay, he is actually just going to take some hackers with him. Does take four hackers. To be honest with you, that's worth it. <laughs> like, it is worth it. Whatever way you put it. Four hackers is a lot. 
Like, it's actually a chunky bit of Sizer's economy. Okay, got two more here. Put off by these non arm the mobbed. Um, uh, what do you call them? Uh, angry mobs. 69 viewers, good number. Hello, Deadly Phoenix. Hello, Goldfish. And hello, Metty. And hello, Alpheus. Incredibly, I hadn't actually seen you up till now. Nearly 25 minutes. Yeah, this has surprisingly been the longest game. It's been a bit of an epic, this. And really, I think it comes down to how long can size cope with the boy camp for? Oh, the Jarman Kel finally goes down. Wow. That was overdue. And what are we on? Two arms dealers. We are on quite a few markets. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nearly a ninth, nearly a tenth, and eleventh. So nine with two more pending. That was a nice pot from x -Gal. Still hasn't got on the mob. Ugh. Hmm. I mean, this is like the priority target, isn't it? I wouldn't mind seeing one licks in size of space here. Just have one licks just for the sake of like anti-sneak attack. I think that'll be a good move. Ooh. Yeah, he's wary of that pop now. Will he pop again? No, that's too late now. Stinger's a nice move though. Will he pop again? I think he'll pop out here actually. Yeah, there it is. Uh, one will get wrecked. I mean, look at that. Yeah, look at the bounty just absolutely flooding through when you kill one of those outposts. Honestly, it's just an absolute money maker. Okay, there is a doubling. That is the palace going down. All right, nice pick off there from size. And he is now pressing away on the right. Jarman Kale did get out in time. But I reckon Migs are going to pick him off. Uh, maybe not, actually. Uh, Q into there. Ah, uh, see, yeah, nice. x -Gal teased that pretty well, actually. Uh, this is the danger. Ah, oh, nice. Nice move. Defensive sneak. Didn't actually quite work as he probably intended. We'll evac that. And actually, finally using Super Lotus to good effect. That's nice to see. That is a mind drop. Nearly hits the target. Doesn't quite succeed in the end. And the ECMs. And eventually this is going to get cleared up. And overall, who won out of the engagement? It's kind of difficult to say. Probably x -Gal. Probably x -Gal. Ooh. I mean, the palace did go down and all of that, but that's just getting rebuilt. Uh, I don't know. I think there's just a little bit too much. I think the boy camp's too difficult to break down, if I'm honest with you. We could be here all day. <laughs> uh, and I wouldn't mind using this evening to study, if I'm completely honest. I really wouldn't mind. I've got some games at 8pm. I'm going to get wrecked by... Oh, it's by size, actually. Size, Hummy, and Seri against... Uh, Myself, Dan Arm, and who else? Uh, Mojo Jojo, apologies. <laughs> uh, in that um, Blast from the Past 2 tournament, which has offered great value for money so far if you are a fan of the flame. I don't think size can... I don't think size can win at this point. If I'm honest with you, I think it's kind of GG now. His economy is worse than x -Gal's, and x -Gal has sneak attacks. So, yeah, I mean, he just has to wait for these MIGs to be used pop here, it's, it's over. Even an Amphrak, even if the Amphrak bombed here at the same time, that literally would be GG there and then. Okay, he knows that that's there. Okay, kills it. And yeah, it's worth, look at that, $200 just for finishing that, and there goes a Scud. I don't, yeah, uh, size can't win. He can't win anymore. This is, it's, it's gone. <laughs> it is gone. Uh, Metty says, how is X-Girl 1? It can still swing, perhaps. Oh, come on. We know you're not bad. at. We know Metty is very, very strong. But I think right now, as I look at this, and with that going down, and if I look at this, I don't know. I just feel like Size probably can't win now. Anti, when are we going to do beer pong again with Size? That is a good question. And I suppose the really obvious answer is Eye Shock. Eye Shock, of course. That is the traditional time to break out the beer pong. 
Okay, that's actually a nice pick off there. Um, by size, because that actually could be pretty annoying. Here comes a sneak attack. Very aptly timed. Did wait for the moment, and this might be the final nail in the coffin. Will the props sell it? Ah, uh, no, because carpet bomb. Uh, so that will go down, and then he'll just use the, the uh, outpost to finish the rest. Mind you, these MiGs are in danger now. But, uh, that hacker will probably go down. Uh, will it? Yes. Ah, uh, there's the Amprax bomb. It's massive. Uh, MiGs won't survive that. These guys, if they get out of there now, will. The MiGs are slowly going down here. The repair can't quite keep up. And yeah, as soon as you try and get away, they go down. Wait for that. Any second now. Oh, it did actually get away. Okay. But this is the thing. Like, what what can you really do at this point? I mean, size is floating. I don't really know how you're floating. Uh, will that be a single rebel ambush? That could be nice. Probably got a spare gen point in there somewhere. And in comes a bit of a push from Xcal then. Hackers get more money, but they go down too easily. Yeah, that's and that is that's the thing. Metis says 45-55 the next scale favor. Uh, Inf hacker. Well, this is the thing. It's like I've said that what makes GLA so impressive against the infantry, and a lot of people will overlook this, is that when you break open those outposts, you get bounty money not only for killing the outposts, you also get it for killing every man inside. And honestly, one outpost has got what? Oh, is that an EMP? Yes, but I think it's... Oh, no, it's mines again. Uh, that actually did get up. And that's massive because it meant that the mines got up. Yeah, look at that. $200 for killing a dozer. You kill one of these, it's $200 plus... What is it? Uh, just under $200. $180. There's the GG. It's over. And Xcal persisted and persisted. And in the end, the boy can't work for him. So, well played, Xcal. Hello, Molia. <laughs> Nao says, aptly timed, by the way. Imagine if size loses this. Well, yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, Molia literally has just nailed it. Exactly. For, it's for, well, to be precise, it's $380 just for picking off a um, one outpost. And that's the thing. It's just, it's just easy bank at the end of the day. That's what makes in the in the long game. That's what makes GLA so strong um, against infantry in particular. Question is, can Xcal now win the reverse? We shall see. Infantry for Xcal, and it is GLA for size. I think psychologically he has to win this game to kind of, you know, have a chance. Really, oh. <laughs> yeah, he basically has to have, you know, sneaking. That's a Lord of the Rings quote. Um, yeah, he has to win this just psychologically, really. If he loses this, I think 6-2 is just, you know, you're not going to win five in a row against x are you? <laughs> or are you? Crazier things have happened. Just need size to go GLA. Alright. And we will see match number 8. Okay. 83, 63, how many is that? 63, ah, that's pretty good numbers. Can't complain about that. Good to see you all. Uh, okay, match number 8. And in the north, this time on Vendetta, we have Excal in purple. This time as infantry. And in the south, we have size in orange as GLA. That, to me, looks like a sneaky worker. So it's pretty clear what his intentions are. And I think this is a fairly viable strategy. Um, especially if you expect your opponent to, opponent to go for these supplies and these supplies. Oh, what was that? It was a bit of a misclick from Xcal, maybe? Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is going to be potentially very nice. I actually think if you do anticipate this one worker going up here and you basically can secure these supplies for yourself really. 
And by doing that, you distract your opponent. And by doing that, you're able to establish yourself in other areas like here, or here, or here. So, but he's actually going to be somewhat prudent. He's going to build his tunnel there, probably for the best. That worker is dead. Nice knowing you. And it is a remarkably similar build order, except Excal is actually going to throw a bunker down, which is nice. That is something Size didn't do last time. He just built mines. <laughs> mines aren't going to do that much for you. Okay, this truck is probably not going to achieve all that much. It's not. Oh, it did actually take that worker out. And there is Scrap Deny from Excal. Very nice. Uh, Dozer will spot Worker. Worker will spot Dozer. Dozer will now spot Tunnel, and Excal will think, oh crap. Oh, that is a really nice pick-off. Little things like that make a massive difference, by the way. I'll tell you that. That is actually pretty massive. And Excal in all sorts of trouble here, if I'm honest. He is in trouble. There's a minigunner in there, yeah, I was going to say. Minigunner's taken absolute age to a series like, like, No minigunner upgrade, that's surprising. That is probably going to be a tech RPG, it is. Desperately trying to get the dozer. Failing to get the dozer. Uh, might get it now. No. Looks like he's trying to play Excal at his own game here and trying to hunt him, but Excal. You know, he's a hunter, but he is also very, very good at keeping his own dozers protected. He does a very, very good job of it. This flamer is probably... Yeah, that's actually perfectly done by size. Didn't even lose the worker. Nicely done. Technical being super annoying. That is going to gun down at least one truck. Very nicely done. And that is very nice. And yeah, all of a sudden. Hmm, looking pretty tricky, this. Uh, I would like to see him engage that bunker straight away. It's actually empty. I don't think he knows that, though. It isn't empty anymore. And there is actually a push here. Ooh, nearly. Ah, he's going to lose that. This is the problem. Now that he has actually got into his building, um, to his base even, he is going to start getting wrecked here, size. Oh dear. But, he's going to respond. I think size definitely needs to expand to these supplies and actually get the oils. Like, behind all of this, you've got to make something happen. It's all fine and well putting a load of pressure on your opponent, but if you don't then take map control behind, you are going to struggle. And that was a very important push by Excal. Oh, he does pick the dozer off. Oh, that's actually a super nice pick off then. Okay. That's actually a very nice pick off. Uh, Excal now will be thinking, I need to lay down my CC as soon as uh, this prop is built. Size. A terrorist there. Okay. Yeah, more tunnels. That's the answer to that. And another supply would be nice. Nice pick off there from size, but now run away. And this is wasteful. Okay. Does get away now. Oh, this is a nice pick-off, though. Okay. Eye for an eye. Fine. And these guys are kind of useless now. Okay, the RPGs take a outpost out, but that is that. It looks like we had something trying to hunt. That is actually a very sneaky tunnel, and that will be the target. I'm pretty sure of that. But good luck, Excal. Good luck trying to hunt Excal, even, I should say. Uh, Excal needs to get to these supplies sooner rather than later. Okay, he's going for the CC rebuild. And as you'll see, pretty perfect supply. The only uh, position, even, a tech with four RPGs would probably come in and wreck that. Okay, that tunnel does now go down. And there is a Lotus out. And I think size... Hmm... I don't think... don't think he's got much of a chance here, actually. If that gets up, I 
do worry here for size, I have to be honest with you. Okay, that's actually very nicely done. And that Lotus, by the way, Jesus. I mean, it's still actually disabled, but this is... You can't engage that. There is no engaging that. And he had to knock that out as well, that size, really. And it's looking pretty desperate for him now, I have to be honest with you. Now that the CC is back... And that early pressure that he put on, which, by the way, was actually pretty nice, but... Ugh. Lotus, getting the oils... Uh, yeah, you can't really. You can't let you can't let him get away with that. I mean, this alone will deal with that, no problem. And that lotus as well. Okay, he does pick off the oil. That's a nice pick off. But yeah, look at this now. And runs away. And he isn't even using ECMs at the minute. Like the ECMs are going to come into play now. There are now two war factories out as well for Excal, by the way. Something size didn't do all game last time, believe it or not. Uh, Scuba says game over XL played it right. Just avoid all the tunnels and hit the main base, which, yeah, basically is what you want to do. That, that is the thing, right, about uh, infantry. As soon as the infantry gets in behind, so to speak, you know, it's a bit like, it's a, bit like a football an analogy in that sense. You know, as soon as you get in behind, that's where the danger is. And infantry against GLA is the perfect example of that. As soon as you get in behind cause some damage, you know, you rattle your opponent, and yeah, you have issues. The GLA, I don't know. <sighs> Xcal played both, both sides of this really well, I have to be honest with you. Really well. And size has more just been responding to what Xcal's done, rather than actually trying to hang on for the love. And this is the thing, there's no palace up, he's on three supplies, but Xcal's freestyle now. So, any time now, like, right now, funnily enough. Yeah, that's going to be that getting wrecked, I would have thought. Well, that is going to be the supplies and the carpet, which actually is going to get stopped here, is it? No. Unlucky. Oh, wow. Mm, that terrorist does actually get an ECM. Okay. Probably needed to get a bit more than that. Hello there, Tarek Naji. And hello, Vinny. Hello, Big Fargo. And hello, Last Drop. Yeah, terrorist rallying is pretty much what he's got to resort to now, I'm afraid. Not looking great, I'm afraid, for size. And Xcal has shown up today, that's for sure. He has definitely shown up. Ooh, that terrorist did nicely, though. But what are you going to do against that? That is such a massive blob, and now it's just, yeah, this Infernos, there you go. He needed Infernos last time, so I completely forgot about them. Very well played there from Xcal. Does the job in nine minutes. Very professional. Very well done. <laughs> oh, dear. Okay, right, is Xcal's choice of matchup. I reckon it'll be a USA GLA on Arctic. I don't know about you, but... Actually, that's a bit of a... That's like the Alfie, yeah, it is. Shock. <laughs> so obvious. Uh, but yeah. Um, I would have thought the USA would have done the job on I don't know, actually. What do you reckon on this map? So, with the USA, the advantage you have is very quick to get into the GLA base. The upside for the GLA is it's obviously very, it's actually quite wide. So, it's difficult for the USA to deny the GLA all over the map. So, kind of arguments for both here. Let's see what happens. So yeah, it's match point. Obviously, everyone asking what the best of is. Hello, DDF LM. Hello, Faster. Hello, Afik Asraf. I butchered that, I know. <laughs> uh, right, potentially last game. Hopefully not. Uh, we have, in the south, we have x -Scout in purple as GLA. And in the north, we have Big Size in orange as USA. Okay. Uh, hello, Dark, as well. Hello, hello. GG's well played. Which sponsor would say you can bet as well? Then score would be reverse. Yeah. Oh, sorry, I'm with you. Yeah, because of the whole size doesn't lose bet type thing. <laughs> yeah. 
Yeah, if it's a challenge now, nah, but as soon as it's a, a, uh, his own money, it's like, all right, okay, well, I'm not going to lose, am I? I think that's more coincidence rather than uh, psychology, but I could be wrong. Yeah, I was about to uh, bring out an Alfie quote, which is, uh, what do you reckon, guys? <laughs> he loves getting the audience involved. Uh, do like do like bringing in uh, little tiny uh, fragments of different streamers in and just trying to be a bit of a generalist, but you've got to have your own style after all. Like, I don't like to criticise, or in general, just criticising players constantly. <laughs> That's always fun. Uh, this dozer is... Microed correctly should find this worker. It's going to be pretty close, actually. Yeah, I think he will get this. Just. Oh. And that is an important pick-off, actually. But, expect the tech RPG and this worker to finish it off as well. Hmm. That early game is absolutely everything. And that is potentially a very nice V if that gets in there. Actually, that could be a game-winning V, to be honest with you. If size yeah, he is. Ah, oh, that's bad for x -Gal. And he has spotted that as a... Yes. Does he crush the first one? Yes. And he wrecks the economy. Ouch. That is really, 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 really bad. <laughs> And those are the sort of things that make you lose as GLA in this matchup, to be honest with you. It just needs to run that away now, actually, yeah. Just be as annoying as possible. I think he's hoping. I mean, he's still actually going. Will he get a scrap deny? No, I don't think he will. Oh, he does. Well played. Okay. That is a tech terror, and that is five terrorists. And that's why you get five, in case one bugs out. Okay, Sai's already had the money there, no problem at all. In comes her harassment on the left-hand side. That firebase has got absolutely no chance of getting up. And the dozer will go down. He needs to get the nooks away and does. Okay. Seems like Sai doesn't really care too much, actually. Uh, I think that's a good move. Yeah, Excal instantly recognising that this area is doomed and sells up. All right. Okay, that's nice. But this push here, I don't think x is going to be able to stop that. Being totally honest, I think x is going to struggle to stop it. Uh, he is bringing every tech in the book. But micro correctly, I mean, with these hellfires as well, I don't think Sai should really lose that. Okay, there is a nice surround coming on now. Uh, ah, uh, size. Yeah, now get the evac in. It was a bit late. That's more like it. That's what he needed to do. And actually, only lost the one. Okay. And just like that, it looks pretty desperate for Excal. Okay, does get the dozer back, but does now lose. The dozer is exposed. He's going to get a fire base in. Uh, I think size is pretty much done the job here actually like he's kind of I would say he's caused sufficient damage at this point that nook is actually very nicely going over there that's a good move it does also allow him to see that technical okay nicely done by x gal uh, size needs to move ah oh, that's lazy didn't need to go low there Uh, very nicely done by size, but he will lose the nook. No, he doesn't actually. Oh wow, okay. Nicely cleared up. Uh, x -Gal looking pretty desperate for him. Uh, capture building is in, but what are you going to do against the V army of size here? Mind you, I th thing is right, size is only on what? Two supplies, barely two supplies himself. And Size knows that the only thing that he's going to survive at this rate is the oil. So he's going to destroy that one, which I think I support. That is not an empty tech. Probably got some terrorists in. 
Ah, uh, but there's the V blob. Uh, yeah, okay. Actually, yeah, that nook didn't go down either, did it? Okay. I don't think size really cares about that at this point. Uh, then again, that could be annoying. But yeah, that is a massive old blob, and there's no way X Gal stopping that. He could probably GG at this point. If I'm completely honest. Uh, that nook is actually holding a dozer, I believe. Yeah, it is. Uh, that's going to get wrecked. No chance of Xcal capturing that. He is now just on his second supply, but it is really a case of getting that economy back. Uh, this thing folds in seconds, so yeah, no good. And it's actually got a few techs out now. We've got Hellfire being very annoying. That actually is really annoying, by the way. <laughs> okay, nice response from Xcal though, getting out one of his RPGs. Is oh, he's potentially diving in a little deep here, size. I think he just needs to knock that out and get out of there. Kill the tunnel in the process. Uh, size is just spamming these, yeah. That's really nice from Mexico. Okay. So I was just waiting for his games versus you. Yeah, fair point. I mean, chilling. Uh, if gamer gaming, hello, hello. Uh, this is a really nice chase. That is that. Nah, that's game over. That is game over right there. Nothing size can do other than hope that one of these he gets a miracle um, demo trap. But that would be a miracle. And the miracle is now not going to happen. <laughs> yeah, he was reliant on that big time. And admittedly, had it landed, yes, it could have swung the game. But now that he knows one is out there, he's going to be extra vigilant. And the Hellfire drone again, by the way. Jesus. So, honestly, it's so annoying. Because you can't get away from it. <laughs> uh, the, when the game does this, it is the most annoying thing. Uh, that's actually really, really nice from uh, uh, from Xcal, by the way. Really nice response. But I don't think it really matters. Despite doing something very nice, it just doesn't matter. Even though he's got the middle. What can you do to stop a giant blob of these? Nothing. Especially if S&D comes in. Oh, actually, it's going to be even worse than that. It's going to be a uh, free stuff. <laughs> even worse. Actually, that will now go down. And yeah, he's just hoping for a miracle, isn't he, at this point, old x -Gal. But, you know, you don't pray, you don't get, or something like that. Surely size isn't going to get done by a demo trap. Surely not. Ugh, it would, honestly, it's close. Size has just completely ignored it, okay? You should always kill them. Why? Because you get, like, crazy XP for killing a demo trap. But a lot of people, not a lot of people seem to know that. I think Size is just chilling at this point. I think he knows he's got the game won. So, uh, why not, like, make the most of it, I guess? You're back on your dozer. You've got a load of money. Do need S and D though, and that is a TT on the supply, I think. And there's a single A10. So the question is, did he also then get? Pathfinders? Must have Pathfinders, surely. Has to have Pathfinders. And some Crusaders at his base. Okay, that's just defensive, presumably. Mm, this is the point of the game where I'd like to see a microwave tank just for the banter. <laughs> Scooby for the last three minutes, he has driven his huge V army to the side of and not pushing. Yeah, he's not pushing, but I mean, I'm, presumably he's doing it because he knows he's won the game, but you should never really take liberties. Madara says, oh my god. <laughs> well, that actually could have been a whole lot worse, to be fair. Still took a V, though. And little things like... Okay, he has got Pathfinders. Fun. Uh, ooh. Potential Fargo pop there. Does get away with it. 1v does go down. And again, I mean, size just doesn't need to take liberties here. Just don't... Don't, you know, tease your opponent. Or don't, like, you know, do that. Because I tell you, it's dangerous. 
That's a lot of text. Like this, these are enough text to sweep sweep this up, no problem. The Crusaders are a great response. I have to give size that. And this cliff is bad. I mean, look, even for some reason, size's units are just. And now he's just going off. What is the hack guy doing? What on earth am I seeing? Ah, uh, yeah, this is over. But the blob has done its job perfectly. S and D is going to come in any second. Size is completely dominating these supplies. Although X is going to respond to that, but I don't think it really matters. S and D comes in now. This one quad actually could be pretty nice. There's too too many losses now for X -Gal. I mean, I have to admit. So, Excal did take quite a lot out with him there, but it's not going to be enough, I'm afraid. Nearly took that out. And that's it. He's basically got nothing. And even though this quad's doing a really fine job of taking those nooks out, I'm afraid it doesn't matter. Size is floating 12k. <laughs> size being size. He's honestly the laziest zero out player, isn't he? He really is. And yeah, size is ah, it's GG'd. Yeah, well played. Uh, the USA looking pretty strong with this map. So will Excal finish the job here is the question. <laughs> Alfie, <laughs> why are you fasting from zero hour? Brilliant. Uh, lol. Ah, oh, I assumed you, I actually thought you knew what you meant then. Lol. Okay, USA this time for Excal and GLA for size. Yeah, you break your fast depending on... I. It's the, to do with the sunset in your country or something like that. I know that the um, time of it is kind of like given on some website. Obviously, it varies depending as the... So as the season goes on, it gets longer because obviously, you know, we're deeper and deeper into summer. So I think the worst time to have Ramadan is over the summer months, whereas the best time to have it is over winter. So it's a good time to be an Australian Muslim these days. Or where anywhere in the world, actually probably not. Anywhere in the world basically where the sun sets short. Imagine you were in Alaska and it was like summer. <laughs> uh, you'd literally just never eat. You'd die, surely. You'd literally just die. Anyway, in the north we have X scale this time in purple as USA. And in the south we have big size in orange as GLA. He is one game into a five game comeback. If we are being super optimistic. <laughs> you never know. I've seen crazier. I have seen crazier. Alfie Ace says he loves Crusaders and Marauders. Yeah, Marauders especially. Crusaders kind of suck. Paladins are better. But uh, Marauders are great. If you manage to get them scrapped up. Which is a humongous if. Okay, war factory going up, second supply going up. This dozer's probably going to go off on a jolly up soon, and sure enough, he is. Size so ideally wants to start building a tunnel there. He's going to get one here, that's nice. Okay, does he want that bunker? It looks like he does. Double scrap heroic marauders, to be fair. Yeah, they are the best tank in the game, basically. Especially tox ones. Okay, Dozer will spot the worker, but worker is going straight for the bunker, and that is annoying. In comes a V drop, then probably going here, I suspect. Yeah, he's going to land himself there and then just harass the workers. That's a good move. And there's going to be a TT actually here. First, there's going to be a tech RPG, and then there's going to be a TT. Okay. And that is just annoying in all kinds of ways. Uh, moving it away, that's good play. Five terrorists. And Excal looking comfortable so far. Ooh, big evac. Uh, terrible evac. Oh, size, oh, size, oh, size. What have you done? That is a monumental waste. And that is very nicely done from Excal. Going for the traditional Hellfire tactic. Okay, good play. 
and it's good harassment. I'll, I'll tell you this, by the way. This is seriously difficult to stop. Like, if you don't deal with that properly, you're going to have some serious issues. And this is the tech RPG, then. He's going for it. And he does succeed, but... Ugh. I think if you were going to get back into this game, you probably needed both the War Factory and the Supply, and it was never really on size. He's going to try and get a tunnel up there, though, now. And he is actually on two supplies still. Despite losing these supplies, he's still on two. I didn't realise he got those supplies. Okay. Technicals are finally going to deal with this, and the Nook is not there to save it anymore. Excal actually brought it back. And that V will go down. So actually... Uh, no scrap deny. Okay. Uh, but that's quite a few Vs, isn't it? Hmm. That is quite a few Vs. Fast there says tank drop. Uh, as in, like, in terms of, like... I don't really know what the context is, to be fair. Is this just going to be a counter-attack from size? Might be. No, it's not. He's actually going to try and deal with these Vs. Okay. Okay, one goes down. Uh, don't think it's going to be enough. And also, I think he only took an empty one out then. Needs to take minimum one more. He will, but... Force fire now? Ah, that's a shame. Uh, okay, that was weirdly nice because actually the uh, terrorists ended up killing the racks. Yeah, he just hasn't got enough air size. x -Gal is very much on top of the production. And that's all you need to do is the USA. Even this one will probably do the trick, to be honest with you. Yeah, there's just no point. You're just wasting techs at this point. And there is a follow-up from x -Gal as well. I'm afraid this is this is it. There's it. GG's. Very well played from x -Gal. He takes it. 7-3. Congrats, sir, on the $100. You have been defeated. That is a big GG's. Sars so can get back. Uh, unfortunately not. <laughs> now that is officially dead. I'm, I'm, I'm afraid. That was a fun set actually. I really enjoyed that. That was nice to see. Nice and smooth. 10 latency. Fairly smooth games, pretty decent, cannot complain, decent company, nice to have you all in the chat. It's been a good one, really enjoyed that. Cannot complain when things go smoothly like that, at all. Uh, the only thing I wish I had was the 1080p, because um, I thought I'd done it, you know, I thought I'd fixed it all, but it's fine, next time, next time. We're nearly there, guys, <laughs> nearly getting there. One, one thing at a time. Uh... I need it. Casting. <laughs> yeah, it's a good point. Alright, I will probably leave it there then, guys. Um, because obviously we've seen the main event. Not re Don't really need to hang around. I've got a few things to sort out. Need to get prepared for later on. Um, the, what is it? Uh, 8 p.m. or 20 GM, is it 20 GM? 19 GMT, it's 8 p.m. my time. 19 GMT. I've got, um, yeah, it's, well, we're gonna get bashed. It's Sizes uh, team against uh, me, GNX, uh, and sorry, me, Mojo Jojo, and uh, um, Dan Arm on um, the Twi Tawny, so. And I'm pretty bad with them, so. <laughs> Uh, Lift Truck Team Web Stream. Pleasure. Pleasure, everyone else. Hope you all enjoyed it. Um, I'm having to as well. Pleasure. No problem. Hopefully back in fairly soon. I think I might be doing... Oh, yeah. This is a, this is an important one, actually, guys. I think I'm streaming Dommy versus Vivid tomorrow in the semi-final of the Extravaganza. Uh, that will be at 13 GMT. So tune in for that. Hopefully we'll get some decent uh, numbers. Um, because why wouldn't we for an epic match? And, yeah. Um... Hopefully see you then, guys. Take care and see you.